Hello and welcome to this review of the new Inol Novo 7 Aurora Android tablet. This new tablet from the Chinese electronics company has some great features, following on from the success of its predecessors within the Novo 7 range. Some of the key ones to note are its high quality IPS screen, a 1 GHz all winner A10 processor, HDMI connectivity, and most importantly, the all new Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich operating system. When you receive the Aurora, the first thing you will undoubtedly be keen to do is look at everything that comes in the box. In the box of the Aurora are various included accessories, which are a mini HDMI to HDMI cable, a Type 2 mini USB cable, a male to female USB adapter for connecting peripherals, earphones, and an AC-DC mains charger. Internally, the Aurora maintains the high specifications you would expect from the Novo range. The all-winner A10 processor runs at 1 GHz and has been advertised as up to 1.5 GHz, indicating potential with future firmware updates. A Mali 400 graphics processing unit, as seen in previous Novo 7s, is available still within this unit. 1 GB of DDR3 memory and 8 GB of built-in storage, which is then expandable through the use of micro SD cards to a maximum of 32 gigabytes. The tablet bears all the ports you would expect from modern technology, which are mini HDMI, mini USB, the charger input, a micro SD slot, and a 3.5mm socket for headphones. The tablet also supports Wi Fi connectivity on the standard 802.11 BGN. The Aurora has a battery life of 5 to 7 hours video playback depending on your settings. A key feature of the Aurora, really putting it ahead of the rest of the Novo range, is its 7 inch IPS widescreen. This new screen has a resolution of 1024 by 600 pixels and supports 1080p playback for videos. This new panel provides an excellent image from various angles, making the viewing experience even better. The colours are visibly sharper and the screen is also considerably brighter. This can really be seen when held side by side with the Novo 7 Advanced. In this short sequence showing the two tablets side by side, both are on full brightness with adequate battery life remaining and playing an identical video file. The IPS screen is clearly a great improvement by Ino in the Aurora. The Aurora's design is one that can be easily used. Made with a solid plastic backing which is slightly curved, the tablet sits very well in your hands. Perfect for watching videos on the go web browsing and even gaming. There is a 2 megapixel camera on the front of the tablet and also an integrated gravity sensor, helpful for gaming and rotating the screen to your desired viewpoint. Gaming is excellent through the combination of the screen and hardware. The increased memory as well as the multi-touch IPS screen provide excellent gaming. Games, apps, music and video are all available on the Android store. Searching for files and media cannot be simpler on the Aurora through the nice organized file browser. Similar to on your computer, files are stored nicely in folders and is customizable with names and organization to your personal preferences. Web browsing on the Aurora couldn't be easier. You have a choice of browser, whether it's the native Android browser or an extra one such as Firefox. The Wi-Fi connectivity is seamless and even though you have no 3G data option, it can be tethered to devices such as the iPhone 4 and Samsung Galaxy S using the phone's personal hotspot features. Web pages are quick to load, fit well on the screen, and the browsers are very responsive to your touch on the screen. The HDMI feature on the Aurora is one to really take note of. In our tests, the Aurora was plugged into a full HD television using the supplied HDMI cable and provided full 1080p playback for everything, videos, web browsing, and so on. The image was not at all stretched or pixelated on the TV, and there were no issues with the speed of playback for browsing and videos either, which shows that the Aurora can easily be used as a hub for connectivity within your home, providing browsing, YouTube and so on directly to your TV, especially if you use the USB adapter to plug in peripherals such as a mouse and keyboard. All in all, Inul have done an excellent job improving this tablet upon what was already a great range of products. With the IPS screen, long battery life, HDMI connectivity and Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich, this tablet is a bargain providing excellent competition for the rest of the Android tablets on the market.
This has been James Morgan of jamesmorganvideo.co.uk. Thank you very much for watching.